Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. On October 17, 2023, and April 4, 2024, the U.S. Department of Commerce issued two consecutive export control regulations on artificial intelligence chips. The control regulations issued in 2023 are as high as more than 500 pages, and the control regulations on artificial intelligence chips issued in 2024 are as many as 166 pages. These two export control regulations on artificial intelligence chips are mainly aimed at restricting well-known American AI chip manufacturers, such as NVIDIA, Intel and AMD from shipping advanced AI chips to Chinese artificial intelligence companies. The most important thing is that the United States not only restricts the shipment of AI chips, but also restricts the shipment of various chip manufacturing tools. However, what people did not expect is that recently, Huawei, a well-known domestic chip design company, has officially announced the results of artificial intelligence chips. Some industry insiders said, the situation that Europe and the United States do not want to see has appeared. Artificial intelligence can be said to be one of the focuses of attention in the field of science and technology today. Many industry insiders even believe that the development of artificial intelligence technology will not only affect the progress of productivity, but also affect the changes in the future world pattern. It can be said that artificial intelligence is another technological revolution after computers. However, from the current situation, the development of artificial intelligence technology is still in its infancy, and the technical level and industrial chain in all aspects are not mature and complete. In the field of artificial intelligence technology, both Chinese and American companies have performed relatively well, and the United States has mastered the computing power advantage. Whether in the field of artificial intelligence chips or in the field of cloud computing services, American manufacturers have mastered a considerable advantage. These computing power advantages have further promoted the training of American artificial intelligence big data models. Many American companies have also launched generative AI products or conversational AI products. From the current news, Apple has officially announced that it will add conversational AI to the next generation of iOS system versions, which also reflects the rapid development of American companies in the field of artificial intelligence. However, in fact, Chinese companies also have very outstanding technical performance in related fields, especially in the application of artificial intelligence technology. However, for Chinese companies, the biggest difficulty in developing artificial intelligence technology at present is how to obtain sufficient computing power. After all, the most advanced AI chip that can be obtained through formal channels in the Chinese market today is NVIDIA's H20 chip, and NVIDIA can produce more AI chips with much stronger performance than H20. It can be said that computing power has become one of the main difficulties currently faced by Chinese companies. However, what is unexpected is that under the restrictions imposed by the United States in every possible way, Chinese chip manufacturers have also made significant breakthroughs in the field of AI chips. At the Tangshan branch of the World Semiconductor Conference and Nanjing International Semiconductor Expo on June 19, the chief operating officer of Jiangsu Kunping Ascend Ecological Innovation Center said, Ascend Cluster is currently the only technical route in China that has completed the training of a large model with hundreds of billions of parameters, 
and its performance has exceeded NVIDIA's A100 chip. This is undoubtedly very good news for China's AI chip industry. After all, it means that the top level of China's AI chip computing power has caught up with NVIDIA's A100 chip. Although there is still a certain gap compared with NVIDIA's other advanced AI chips, it is enough to see that China's domestic AI chips are breaking through. In fact, even NVIDIA itself believes that Huawei is likely to become one of NVIDIA's main competitors in the development of AI chips. Huawei was able to make such a major breakthrough in the field of AI chips in a short period of time, and it was completed under the chip restrictions and supply cuts from the United States and the West. This is enough to show Huawei's research and development achievements in the field of AI chips. It can be said that this is probably a situation that the United States and the West are very reluctant to see. After all, the development of Chinese companies in the field of artificial intelligence is already very rapid. The United States has been trying every means to restrict the development of China's artificial intelligence industry by restricting the shipment of AI chips. However, it was unexpected that the restrictions and sanctions of the United States have promoted the development and breakthrough of China's chip industry chain. From the current situation, since the United States included Huawei in the entity list in 2019, the United States has continuously expanded the scope of control of the chip ban, but it has not been able to stop the development of Chinese chips at all. Now in the fields of SOC chips, operating systems, AI chips, etc., China has completed breakthroughs in domestic substitution. These are the main areas of restriction in the United States. From this point of view, it can be seen that the development of Chinese chips is rapid. It is foreseeable that even if the United States continues to expand the scope of sanctions and restrict the export of many advanced technologies, it still cannot prevent China from completing technological breakthroughs and domestic substitution in related fields. Even many industry insiders believe that China is expected to achieve technological breakthroughs in multiple fields, such as lithography machines, high-level EDA software, and chip instruction set architecture. This also means that the US ban will completely become a dead letter. In fact, this has been the case in many fields before. The more restrictions the United States imposes, the faster China will make breakthroughs. Not only will the US ban fail to stop China's technological progress, but it will also lead to the counter-effect of a technological blockade. It can be said to be shooting itself in the foot 